Hey guys, so today we're gonna tackle the rear chrome trim bumper installation for the 2015 to 2017 Tahoe LT, because the LTD comes with this. So I bought this on eBay, uh, original OEM part. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but there's the, the tag. And uh, I think it was a couple, maybe 250, I'm not sure. But uh, we've already tackled the LTZ chrome side trim, the chrome strip on the top, and then we got the chrome eyebrow. Now we didn't have to do the chrome uh, bumper assembly because that came with the car. It was a good option that the dealer had. You can see it there, dealer installed, front grille with chrome polish 620. So the overall price of the car was 61.9. Uh, you know, most people don't pay that. and. Uh, don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I uh, definitely got a discount, I'm sure. Anyways, uh, we'll tackle this and uh, I'll give you some tips along the way on how to do it. Um, we'll go from there. Alright, so it looks like when installing this, there's a row of clips here that go along the back of the chrome bumper trim. And then you have these little tabs here that hold it in. Now, it, from what I've researched, it looks like the the rear wiring harness that holds on the reverse sensors clips into these. So these ones are going to be really tough to get to and I've researched that you can just clip those and then the wiring harness would hang. And then you can retain the clips on the outside. So let me show you what that looks like under the car. So here you have the wiring harness for the reverse sensor and there's one of those clips you can pull that out retain that one and then you might be able to get into some of these here but it'll be kind of difficult so what I'm gonna do is try and retain as many as possible um, but once you pull those out it should be fairly simple to pop out the, the trim on the bumper um, is what I'm hoping so it should just pop out after that and I'll let you know how so mid-project, uh, pretty close to being done. I was able to pull these out. It took a little while to get under there and get your hand and fingers around the cable, um, negotiate around that and pull out the cable ties. But I got them all except for the two here in the middle. Um, and then these were these uh, panels were easy to push out with your, your finger. If you're able to get, you can get behind uh, the bumper with your hand and just kind of push it in and then it'll pop up. Uh, it's easier if you have a second person slightly um, pulling up as you're pushing um, or pushing down to release it and then pull up. Um, so I'll let you know how this piece goes when I figure it out. Okay so got this out here and just want to tell you my solution. Um, I used this to clip those last two little pieces there. I, it, uh, you won't need them because you have all of these other uh, cable ties holding up the cable. So these two um, you won't need anymore. So I pulled through and cut those pretty easily. Um, if you have a blade like that, it'll work. Um, so now I'm just gonna pop on the new one and see how it goes. Okay, I've got it all cleaned up now. Uh, cleaned it off with some alcohol. Well, first some detailer spray and then just these edges. Uh, with some alcohol so that that's the residue for the um, from the edge of the the new bumper you're going to be pulling off this double-sided sticky tape that'll keep it nice and clean the one thing i did want to mention is that to make easier access and get your hands under there you have to remove those four bolts from the bottom of the bumper and that'll make it easier for you to get your hands in there so i'm going to do the assembly now of the new bumper and uh, let you know how it goes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is test fit the bumper and lay it on there, line up all the all the pins and then you're going to want to push these little tabs, it's kind of hard to see with the glare, but push those little tabs down in there just to make sure that you can do that. And so just as long as everything's lined up. Then the last thing I would do would remove the plastic sticky tape, then push these down in one by one. 
and then do a one-time press so that you don't um, mess up the tape and align it. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, 2017 Tahoe step pad trim with, cr with chrome LTZ package. Um, put this on our LT. Um, came out really nice. Fit and finish is perfect. The seams are perfect. Um, here's a picture of the tools that I needed. 10 millimeter socket for, for loosening the bottom of the bumper. Flashlight so you could see some of those snap holders. Um, I ended up using this blade to cut the three um, clips here which were holding um, the uh, wire harness back there but you do have several other ones across here and across there that um, will hold it in place so those really aren't going to change uh, anything about the car or how anything operates uh, and finally to pop off those um, snap rivets uh, use this tool as well and then a screwdriver to push down the wire uh, once I was up here I needed to clear for the new um, holders to do. So there it is. Complete project. Nice and easy. Hope you found this useful and uh, hit that like button. Appreciate it. Thanks.